Hi everybody, Jared with Day Traders FX. Nice to see you today. I wanted to make a little video and talk about a couple of things. Right now, the political and the economic situation feels a little unsettled. We're starting to see headlines like, this is it, the bond market or the stock market is flashing the, you know, the warning signs. And I think there are some warning signs that are, that are popping up right now. Um, but in the currency market, luckily, there's a lot of stuff we can do with a bullish equities market, a bearish equities market. And uh, I want to just kind of make sure that we're keeping that in mind and that we're taking advantage of some of those opportunities. Remember, when things get a little unsettled, either political or economic, and we're kind of seeing a little bit of both right now, there's opportunities to take advantage of trades on Swiss franc pairs, on yen pairs, on dollar pairs. Uh, those can typically be kind of safe haven E, if you will, uh, during these times. And so I'm kind of looking at yen pairs right now, and, and, and the yen is a little bit... It's a little bit interesting right this moment, so we've got to kind of keep an eye on, on the big picture always. Look at the big long-term levels. Where are things approaching? We have a lot of currency pairs that are approaching big long-term levels right now. But I'm looking at yen pairs and I'm thinking, the yen, you know, specifically if you look at your chart, say the Aussie yen, or you look at the New Zealand yen, or you look at the CAD yen, uh, any of those, you can see that the yen pairs have been kind of going down for a while, uh, but they're kind of getting within the range of big long-term lows. And I love in the currency market to trade off long-term lows or long-term highs because oftentimes these, these 10 and 12 year highs and lows don't break. They usually hold. If we're looking at them on long-term charts, they oftentimes will hold and, uh, and, and bounce off those areas and kind of you know, start a new trend from there. But I'm looking at yen pairs and I'm seeing that there is opportunity to maybe get some trades towards those levels before we start getting kind of that reversal off those big long-term lows. And most yen pairs have, you know, two to 300 pips uh, of movement that they could still go before getting to those big lows. I don't usually like to kind of trade two big levels like that, but I think that the yen pairs kind of present a little bit of a unique opportunity right now um, to start looking for some opportunities to trade towards those. Now, the thing that's important, and I made this video a couple of days ago or last week, I talked about trade what you see, right? We've got to look at the charts and say, what is the setup? You know, how can I manage my risk? Uh, where are the good areas to enter? Um, but targets, you know, these multi-year highs and multi-year lows can, can give us uh, a good kind of insight on direction. And so I'm liking these yen pairs and I'm thinking, we might get one more push down before they really start to head up. And this is a good environment for that to happen. There's a lot of uncertainty and the yen is a really good kind of safe currency that, you know, that really flourishes in that uncertainty. And so I'm looking at that. I'm kind of looking uh, for some opportunities there. Uh, I think the Swiss franc could have some interesting things as well. Swiss franc pairs, most Swiss franc pairs are approaching uh, big long-term lows and so again, that's interesting, and there might be some opportunities to trade those lows, and I'm definitely looking uh, for the opportunities to trade off of those lows. But I think, I think if we look at the big picture, and look at the big channels, and we look at the big kind of areas where currencies are trading, uh, you know, this is that time of year where we get one more push of volatility before we kind of set in, you know, summer highs and summer lows. And so we're kind of going to that period of of probably setting in some summer lows. Um, and I think yen pairs, if they can make one more push down, are gonna set in some very nice summer lows for us. Uh, and that's kind of where I'm looking for maybe some shorter term opportunities uh, before we maybe look for some longer term opportunities to trade the yen towards you know some yen weakness. But watch those big channels, watch those big charts. Let's trade towards those levels. I'm looking at yen pairs, I'm looking at dollar pairs. Uh, I think the dollar is going to be held a little bit captive right now, so we've got to be kind of careful with that. Um, but uh, yen and Swiss franc pairs are looking a little more interesting now than maybe maybe at certain points. So I really like those two currencies and I like trading those, uh, uh, those setups right now. So that's kind of where my focus is. Uh, I'll send out some charts and I'll show you guys some, you know, some things that I'm looking at there, but I think that kind of gets us set up for what the next big move and the next big picture is going to be. So as we kind of approach June and we get into June and we get through that whole area, 
I think there's going to be some great opportunities uh, to trade these big, big summer ranges where the markets just kind of go up and down through that area. So should be some great opportunities. Looking forward to it. I'll uh, send out some charts and some more specific trades and some ideas and some thoughts to go with that. Uh, stop by daytradersfx.com. Say hi. Um, we'd love to chat with you and get to know you a little bit better. Uh, come by and, and uh, let us know a little bit about your trading experience, how it's going so far, and, and we'll see if maybe there's something we can do to help you have a better trading experience. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you're having a great day. More updates and details coming. Take care, guys.